Hi everyone, it's Joni here. Last time I talked to you, I just had my first chemo treatment and things went really, really well. So that is now day 12 and my hair is just starting to fall out. So I've decided that I'm going to have my husband Lee shave my head. Um, it will give me a sense of empowerment, I, I think, to do it on my own terms. And I know if you're facing this right now, if you need to grieve the loss of your hair, it's okay, go ahead. I don't think I'll cry today. I went through this 15 years ago and I didn't, but if I do, it's okay. And if I don't, it's okay, but if you need to, feel free to do that. Don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't. You need to do what you need to do so you can move forward with your experience. So I'm gonna have him cut my hair a little bit first because I don't know how good he is at shaving it. So we're gonna start there. So uh, he's gonna have probably a lot of fun with this. It's not as much fun for me, but here we go, guys. So go ahead, hon. All right. As he touches it, I think some of it might actually come out, but it's just it's less. On the floor here. Yeah, it's less you. messy, I think, um, to get the portion of your hair um, cut off first. We'll try to not make this too painful. Really, Gabby, Stay you doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Yeah. That's my little granddaughter, mm -hmm. Abby. I've got my family here supporting me and watching. I go through this experience and uh, trying to desensitize it for uh, my grandchildren too, that it's okay. It doesn't have to be the saddest thing in my life. It's just a part of my journey right now. And part of my training to be a hairdresser if I ever lose my job. <laughs> so you don't have to be careful there, hun. Just hack away. I just don't want to poke you. So next time you see me, I'll be sporting long blonde hair. I have very fine hair and never been able to really grow hair. So I thought, why not? This is the time. I'm going to have fun with it. So it's going to be fairly long. I've bought a lot of uh, fun hats to wear with it. I live in Canada where it's cold. It's winter here right now. So it's a perfect time to be wearing hats. I'm going to do what I can. I'll probably lose my uh, eyelashes and eyebrows I did last time. So I got really used to uh, putting on fake eyebrows and there's stencils you can buy now. If you live in a major city, you can go to a place like Sephora or other department stores and they probably have stencils that you can use. How long are you going to save her hair? We're not going to save it, honey. We're going to put it in the garbage. Well, you can take a little home if you want, huh? <laughs> put it in a little plastic bag. So if you have the majority of the hair off, since you're not doing great with the cut, <laughs> I think you should well, just you take... Well, you could have given me some better scissors, too. I know, they're really dull scissors. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. I think you can go ahead, hon, and just shave it off. Not quite yet. As you can see, I'm not a natural blonde. There's not that many in the world who are. All my roots are coming through. How short do I have to get, John, before I can use that machine? I think you can use it right away. Yeah, I think you should go for it. Those are really dull scissors, so... Oh, yeah, they're useless. Okay. So, like this here, is how you do it like this. There it goes! I don't want to 
I think I gotta get a different head on here. This is too pretty. So this is what we'll probably have to edit out. Well, you know what? If you just shave it close enough. Is this the one I want? They're going to make my head. Oh, oh it's got the crown. Now I see you have no hair. I know. Look at that, Abby. She still looks pretty, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to work. Blonde today to having black hair. You look so cute. Your Thank hair you. looks so cute. Cause I make your hair with no hair. Do you like it with no hair? Thank you, mm -hmm. hun. Well, that's good. If Abby likes it with no hair. I don't need all of it off. Just the majority. Got that little part back there. Okay, not so close. No, it's not close. Well, I got the guard on. Gotta get the hair. No, the rest will fall out. It's okay. I just wanted the majority off. Okay. No one's going to see it anyway, right? Oh, well, just maybe you watching. It's okay. No, when I do the job, I do a good job. Brandy, watching. Come on, baby, watching. Come on, baby, watching. Papa, watching. Papa, watching. Abby, do you think Bob was a good hairdresser? Yeah. Yeah? Would you ever let me cut your hair? No. No. <laughs> no it's getting longer. I think that's good, huh? There's not much to lose on the floor now. Okay, what's the consensus here?
Okay. There. And there it is. It's done. There's not much to follow. It'll be less messy. So I, there's just a couple thoughts I had as I was thinking about preparing myself for today and those of you that are watching. So during this time, it feels like a drought in my life. There's some things I'm going through. And you might be going through things. You might be suffering from addiction or going through a divorce. But I want to tell you that do your part and God will walk with you as he's been walking with me. And I know that the rain's coming, so I'm, I'm keeping my hope, I'm keeping my faith. And so I just want to remind you to remember, keep your chin up and eyes toward heaven. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.